time right now is 718, 45 degrees downtown. And in this morning's medical alert, a local physician is using scuba diving to help paralyze veterans on the road to recovery. And Dr. Daniel Becker is joining us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. So you are a neurologist at Johns Hopkins. I am. But you have opened a new rehab clinic. Right. Go ahead and tell the, us about it. This is the International Neuro Rehabilitation Institute. It's in Ludwig Towson. And we take care of people with spinal cord injuries, with multiple sclerosis. And it has a very cutting edge approach in terms of rehabbing people from these injuries. You take them scuba diving. Uh, some, sometimes we do take them scuba mm -hmm. diving, yes. Talk about how that helps the patient. What, what about scuba diving helps start, sort of stimulate everything? So it started with some anecdotal evidence that some patients came to me and said, when we go scuba diving, we feel more sensation, we have more strength, or we can feel the bladder better. And so we, we thought, well, we have to take a look at this. And uh, so we took a, a, a larger group of patients mm -hmm. uh, to the Cayman Islands. Uh, these were veterans from the recent wars. And we were investigating what happens if you take this group scuba diving. And can we reproduce these changes in motor functions, meaning in strength and in sensation and stiffness? And it was fantastic to see the, the outcomes from this study. So what did you find? So we found that when people go scuba diving, that they have much more increased strength. Mm -hmm. They have very increased uh, sensation, some had increased bladder function, and one of the most striking stories that I got was a patient who called me after the study and said, you know, this was the first time I was able to walk back on the airplane yesterday. Mm -hmm. And so this was something completely out of the ordinary. And people were getting sensations that haven't had any sensation in, since 50, even 15 years out from their injury? Right, they sort of on, on, on average they were 15 years out of the injuries, and you wouldn't expect any kind of changes. And uh, in, in the study we, saw, we showed that within a week, people recover changes that take months generally when I rehab them in, in our center. So what does this mean for the future? I think we, we are on something really big here. So I think we found a maybe a change that we have to go after mm -hmm. with our future research that can actually maybe pave the path for the finding the cure for spinal cord injuries. And that's what I've been trying to do for the last couple well, 10 plus years. Well, and it's caught the attention of PBS. They're doing a documentary on your work. Is that correct? Yeah, the documentary is called uh, Sea of Change, mm -hmm. and it's actually airing today in, in the state of Colorado. So we're trying to actually get it aired. We need it in Maryland <laughs> so we can see it too. <laughs> so if somebody has connections to Maryland, uh -huh. PBS, uh, it would be nice if we can get this uh, seen in Maryland as, uh, as soon as possible. So what did they do? They followed you and talked about some of the changes that you're making happen? Right, so the, the film t talks about how the study was conceived, how we went through the study, and what results we have shown, with including the theories why we think it works. So if someone watching this is paralyzed or has spinal cord injury, and they're seeing you and they're watching what it is you're doing, are you accepting new patients? Can yeah. they come to your clinic? We are accepting new patients, mm -hmm. and they can contact us at uh, our website, the International Neuro Rehabilitation Institute, or call us at 410-828-4629, and uh, we are Ready to see them. All right. Thank you so much for coming in this fascinating research. You can find out more information about the NIINIREHAB.com. Dr. Becker, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Really interesting stuff. And please don't